Hello, I'm Dr. Becky Smethurst and I'm an astrophysicist at the University of Oxford and my latest book, A Brief History of Black Holes, is out now in paperback and you can pick up a copy at your local Waterstones. There are so many misconceptions about black holes, which is my area of research, and I really wanted to write a book that went through the history of our understanding of black holes and how that's changed over the past century to help people understand them better and challenge some of those misconceptions. Like, for example, the fact that black holes are not hoovers just sucking everything up around them. And they're not holes at all. Plus, they're not even black. They're some of the brightest objects in the entire universe. I had a lot of fun writing this book. You know, there's like pop culture references just sprinkled all the way through it. And it's written so that anybody can pick it up and understand it. Even if you've forgotten everything that you were ever taught at school in science, the main thing is that you're just curious about the universe. And if that's the case, let me give you three more recommendations for astrophysics public science books that I think are great. The first up is Crowd in the Cosmos by Professor Chris Lintot. I'm an ebook reader normally, so forgive me for not having like a physical copy of each of my picks. Um, but this first pick is a great book if you are more of a newcomer to astrophysics and you want more of a personal story of the scientists weaved in with the science. Because this tells the story of projects in the Zooniverse, a website that gets the public to classify scientific data, and then they get involved in scientific discoveries. And Chris tells these stories of both the people behind these scientific discoveries and the discoveries themselves and their significance just so wonderfully. So everything from galaxies to exoplanets to the moon, even a crossover with penguins in there as well. It truly is just a joyful read. My next pick is The End of Everything, Astrophysically Speaking, by Dr. Katie Mack. This book is just on another level. Like, I think all of us are, you know, slightly morbidly curious about how the world will end. You know, that's why disaster movies do so well. And this book just takes that one step further and talks about how us astrophysicists think that the entire universe will end. And that might sound depressing, but this book is so witty and full of the sort of dark, dry humour that you would expect with a book like this. And Katie is just such a wonderful author and just brings all of these topics to life. My final pick is The Universe in a Box by Professor Andrew Ponson, which is a brilliantly written book which explains how we even manage to simulate the entire universe in a computer. And then, of course, what we've learned from studying those simulations and, again, the huge team of scientists that are behind putting these simulations together. Now, I'm an observer. I use telescopes for my research and analyze a load of data. But this book was so inspiring that I found myself wanting to be a theoretical astrophysicist by the end of it. So maybe it'll do the same for you as well. So there you have it, my top three picks for astrophysics public science books. I hope you enjoy them, along with my latest book, A Brief History of Black Holes, which is out now in paperback, and you can pick up a copy at your local Waterstones.